Here's the best way to Evo up Sapphire Ojai Abaji all the way up to Diamond. As you can see right here on the screen, I have the Amethyst already done 100 points and 20 steals. Now, obviously, we're going to talk about how to get the points and how to get the steals, and I'll have like a little section talking about them. But I will tell you, I have a full video on steals down in the comment section below. If you feel as though there's not enough information here with uh, what I'm providing with the steals, go check that out. I'll give a little bit more in-depth uh, a version on it. So with the Baji, basically how it worked, it's, it's almost exactly like the um, guy that had to get sealed last time, Jeremy Sohan. If you did that Evo, it's essentially the exact same thing. You start out a few points, five steals, a few more points, a few more steals, and then you finish it off with 100 points and 20 steals like we do right here. And once you get a Baji up, He's actually a crazy good card. You can see he gets plus two into the midi to an 85, plus one on the three point to an 86, gets an 86 free throw, pretty decent enough rebounding, has an 80 or 69 interior, has an 88 perimeter, 88 lateral quickness, 85 steel, and even has an 83 up here at Sapphire, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. I mean, he's a great card. He even gets Hall of Fame catch and shoot, making him that perfect like three and D kind of guy, even gets some better finishing and all around is pretty much one of the better shooting guards especially when it comes to catch and shoot so i'm going to give him a quick little evo right here just to see the animation so you guys can look at what the card art looks like if you didn't already look at the thumbnail he's great um, absolutely amazing card now there is one thing that i noticed significantly helped me out when i was using uh this oj abaji to get that those steals is initially i was running the um what is it right over here the lenny wilkins coach boost and it says poor defensively against bigs and poor rebounding and what i noticed is the second that i switched it obviously to this defensive coach i was getting a lot more it says improved defensive rebounding and great defense you have a lack of offensive consistency and increased foul chances but and yes they don't directly give you plus on steel but plus three perimeter plus three defensive consistency the plus three lateral quickness i think also really helps uh, i don't know i just got a bunch more steals i went from getting like two three a game on the perimeter centric to going to the defense and getting six the first game that i put out I almost doubled my steals um so that's just my personal opinion and it just depends on what you're trying to go for honestly it's really not that bad another thing that you can do because some people want to give themselves the best chance which makes sense is you can go ahead maybe a diamond uh shoe onto a baji which also may increase his price i'm just picking one i don't know if this is the correct shoe for him um and then obviously adding a steal wherever you have it uh, maybe like a pass interception or something like that you can do plus it, uh three on perimeter lateral quickness pass perception and steal if you really wanted to boost it up as much as you can um that's the way now abaji's not gonna be the greatest at getting you know a bunch of steals just because he doesn't have the glove badge but he's still gonna be good enough um to i guess finish it off now there's one really secret trick that i found that makes this significantly easier now there's a few different modes you can do it um there is clutch time which allows you to do my favorite method of putting it into a half court trap um and then kind of just getting bump steals that way or you can just go into triple threat and just kind of run at players. Um, both of these are on pretty low difficulty. You can see clutch time is at pro and my current one right now in triple threat is also at pro. But my favorite is actually to go over to challenges and go into skill challenges. This is one that I haven't seen a bunch of people talk about. Um, there's a bunch of different challenges. You have the limitless ones here, uh, which have different, you know, difficulties and different cards that you're facing um you also have the shades of the intensity the other shades of but my favorite one is this basketball fundamentals right here because if you look at the difficulty on all of these they're all semi pro which if you didn't know and now go semi pro pro uh, i think it's like alt star or something like that so semi pro is the new rookie all of these are on rookie difficulty so essentially you can click on any of these and compare teams and whoever you personally feel like it is easiest to steal from you can go ahead and do those now my favorite one to actually do with a baji is the um, either perimeter defense one just to have it done you get two steals and then it just restarts the game and you're going against cole anthony who has decent ball handling but nothing crazy he's still a gold card and it is on rookie but my favorite one is actually to do this three-point scoring one right here because we're on rookie we're going against Devonte graham and cj mccullum they are two pretty good guards but once you hit five threes in the game it just stops so if you're not having a good time you just don't seem to be getting steals on him just get five threes and the game finishes you can also get to four you know threes wait on it get some steals once you finish off your evo like for example the first one's a sapphire and you don't want to sit through all 12 minutes of this game get your five steals 
and then hit that fifth three and then boom you're out of there and you can still score twos and a bunch of other things while you're doing it or you can mix it up with evos if you're already done with your points um, and things like that so that's personally what i do now i'll put up a few clips on the screen right now about some of the steals that i've got with abaji now what i recommend is that you again call that half court trap you can also do a full court trap if you want to um i've personally just gotten better with the half court trap and then essentially you're just going to wait at the half court line if you want to call for a double team you can also hold l1 on your controller if you're on playstation and it'll basically call for a double team and essentially what you want to do is make sure that they stick to the other guy and then just get a bump steal and make sure you have a decent bit of space before you hit that square button I, the main problem i see with a lot of guys is that they press square either too soon or too late the timing of hitting square is the most important part and that's really what you got to focus on and what you got to get your timing down with and then once you get that you're going to be golden another way is what i like to do is look at whatever ball hand they have in currently this year and last year they cross over whenever you run at them and go for a steal so all you have to do is start on that side that they have the ball in their hand in when you're a decent bit away and then once you start getting close to it the second you see that them do that crossover that's when you hit square and then boom you can get the steal you have to remember if you just run straight at the ball that they or the hand that they have the ball in they're going to cross it over so play into that let them cross over and that's when you get the steals it may <laughs> take a little bit of time to get used to uh but it does help and what i love about these as well is again you can just kind of end the game whenever you feel like it. if you get six fouls boom just end the game and <laughs> you're kind of golden um you can just reset yourself so again it won't be too difficult and if you want a full steel tutorials video obviously i have the steel method video and i'll link that in the description down below when it comes to points i think this one is honestly pretty easy points aren't essentially that difficult to get um in my team we'll go into with diamond abaji right now um and just kind of have some fun with him he is a pretty good card but he does have a slow release it's not fast but it is pretty consistent honestly i think this diamond uh abaji is actually crazy 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 good but essentially all you have to do is once you get a little bit inside the three-point line hold r2 uh hit the right stick to the opposite ball hand and then right after you do that hit down on the left stick you can essentially um hold r2 if you want to the entire time and it gives you a little hop step i don't know how that wasn't a green uh essentially all you have to do is green your jumper once you've uh finished it which is obviously pretty ideal uh like we just have to get the ball back i'll just let him shoot i'll just let him shoot we don't we don't need any steals uh anymore with a body so it doesn't really matter um so you want to do that if you can uh, what i also like to do is you can just hold r2 and then hit down and you get a low hop step and then you can just green it off of that it's actually pretty simple um to get a lot of these buckets with him and if you're playing triple threat to get your points like let's say you've already got your steals you kind of can just play it super fast like this and just let them get their things or skip blocks uh but again i'll show you guys the other hop step method it still works i've seen some people say it's patched it's not it's just sometimes if a card has challenger it gets a little bit hard but let me move my controller up you hold r2 boom and boom and you get that easy and i mistimed it but it's all about just getting open showing you guys how to get open uh once you get the jumper down you'll get it so let me know what you guys think about this diamond abaji down in the comment section below like the video if you did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and again check out the steals method video if you're still struggling with them even after watching this it can be a little bit difficult but trust stay calm and eventually you'll get them hope you have a great day see you in the next one